51. Hey, Gary, this is Michael. So uh, uh, we've got you on speakerphone now on my phone. Um, do you want me just to keep this phone up to the our exterior microphone that I brought, or does it matter? <clears throat> okay, so right now we're trying to get reconnected to uh, our Facebook, but uh, we will assume that you're going to take care of us uh, the audio stuff. We'll just keep going. Good. Okay. Well, we are uh, on back on track, folks. Welcome to the UFOI team. <laughs> we are experimenting today with uh, all sorts of interesting technology, and we are. Uh, this is our weekly meeting that we usually have. Every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. at Denny's, where? Mary Mary Denny's. Denny's. Thank you, folks, for helping me out there. <clears throat> we like Denny's. They really help us out here and allow us to meet over the corner and put up our little banner and bring along our little alien guy. We talk about very uh, serious subjects, and we do a lot of uh live streaming over Facebook as well. So if you're out there and would like to check out our videos and our live streams while we're on the radio, you can go to QFO IP with a lowercase i on, uh, on oh, my goodness, you know what? Let's see. If, I don't know if this is going to work here. Hold on. And, no, we don't want to end. I'm sorry. Marcy Clevin, Clevin is hey. calling us. Okay. If someone else who has a phone to call Marcy on your phone, I will bring both Marcy on at the same time we are on the air with um, with with uh, Night Dreams Talk Radio. Do you happen to have her phone, I phone have number? Phone number. You want to give it to me? I sure do, <coughs> but I can't do that. <coughs> I can't do that on the air, but I will show it to you. Hang on. I'm going to show it to you, so don't panic. And we will call Marcy back because she wants you to someone explain while I'm doing that who Marcy Clevens is. She performs. She is a 
more recently, I just got a report from a an engineer in Huntsville, Alabama, very precise in his wording of what he saw. He saw a wing-shaped object. Uh, he has no idea what it was. He saw it for only 10 seconds. It was streaking through the clouds above his head. He estimates that it was 25 times wider than longer than it was long. That is an aspect ratio of 25. And, uh, all sorts of other interesting reports to recount. Wow. That's so, a lot's going on. This is just, uh, like within the next few, uh, last few days, is that what you're saying? Last few days. The first one I received some days ago, shortly after the event had occurred on the 23rd of July, but the sighting over Huntsville uh, occurred just uh, two days ago, the, uh, I guess three days ago, the 29th of July, and the witness provided a very high-quality computer-generated image, which we should have uh, posted to our website once our witness gets back. Jump in. Jump in. Hey, hey Peter. Pictures, Peter. Hang on. Hi. Yeah, any... um. The question was, were there any uh, pictures or video that they sent to you about these two sightings or any of them? Yes, uh, not photographs, uh, but a very high-quality computer-generated illustration about this sighting over Huntsville, Alabama. And we did. The, the question, a very good one, is uh, has stimulated my memory. We Just last week, I think this was on... The 27th, 26th or 27th, I forgot the date, St. George Island, just south of Apalachicola, Florida, right in the notch of Florida on the west side of the peninsula, the whole family witnessed the cluster of, they estimate, at least five orange lights in a cluster out over the Gulf of, uh, Gulf of Mexico. So wow. you know, I like to share those reports of orange objects because that now constitutes the majority of reports is sightings of clusters of orange objects, orange and sometimes red objects. We have no idea what these objects are, but they keep 